right, right. Have you right. ever had chances to go back? I assume you would have. Yeah. No, actually not, because really? after Cookies and Balloons, I was basically, you know, crucified by them. Uh, everybody who's a friend of mine up there was not allowed to talk to me or call me or text me. And wait, you gotta so... explain that. I don't know if people understand. Okay, because yeah, I, I don't know really... what cookies and balloons. Okay, but... Dante, can I spend about a minute on this? Just yeah, as much sure. as you please. Yeah. yeah. So I took, I took. When I told Kevin Dunn I was taking time off, he thought I was joking. Then you know he goes, "We'll take three months off," and I said, "I can't," because I'll be counting down 90, 89, 88. Mm-hmm. And he, when he realized I was serious, he, goes, he says, "All right, one month, you know, you can go and uh, you know, uh, keep the door open." And I said, "I would." So like four months in, they call me. Kevin Dunn and Big, and they want me to have dinner in Stanford. And they told me like five different jobs to come back. And I'm like, everything was full time reporting to Big. And I'm like, I want part time. I don't care if it's two weeks on, two weeks Big off, or if you need me a job for six months, know. but I, I don't want full time just yet. Uh, yeah. I don't want 70 hour w- 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 uh, work days, you know, every single week of every single year. And they said, nope, right. it's either full time or, or uh, no time. So I guess it's no time right now. And I'm like, fine. So nine mm-hmm. months later, I joined TNA Impact just part-time for three months Mm -hmm. to help them launch the victory road. That was their first pay-per-view, the monthly pay-per-view, the three hour long ones. And I did the promotional campaign for that, the advertising for that, the graphics and the cold open for the events. And while we were there at universal studios, it's like, wow, what a great night for us. It's historic. Hey, guess what? Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage are backstage. We got shots of them as well. And I found out that two days later, WWE was shooting a commercial on the soundstage right next to us. So I told Jeff Jarrett, I said, hey, man, keep a couple of wrestlers back here, like Abyss, like uh, Ron Truth, um, Road Dogg, uh, mm-hmm. Shane Helms, I mean, Shane Douglas mm-hmm. and Tracy. And let's greet them with cookies and balloons and all that kind of stuff. So WWE oh, found out that so, we wait, wait, wait. that. So, so for yeah. clarity, that so Impact was, you know, there taping somewhere. And then at the next lot over, basically, WWE it was our is... home for two years, uh, Harry. Yeah. 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 And WWE is so taping a, a commercial. Package. Yeah. I want to do a package with our night with Hulk Hogan, Randy, and them and saying Orlando, you know, stu- uh, Universal Studios has become the epicenter of the rest of the world thanks to TNA. Okay. And man, like, we didn't get anything of substance, but they were so hot that we even tried to do something like that. I and mean, we weren't going to ruin their production. They just want to, like, show up. To- they wanted mm-hmm. to show up a couple of wrestlers who were with at cookies TNA, and balloons. With Abyss cookies had, and Abyss, balloons. Abyss had like, balloons, and the beautiful Tracy had cookies on a plate. Right. And she was yeah. just like, you know, a schoolgirl. And she was, uh, you know, sexy as hell. And, and so they were, what they, know, WWE they would consider. So mad, that, yeah, they would consider that an treat, invasion. A or stab something. in the back, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So. They, the next day, they told the entire staff that nobody was allowed to have contact with me, communication with me. And then my dad found out about that and goes, I guess you're not going back there. I'm like, well, I never wanted to go back there anyway. And he goes, I hope they keep on giving me a check because my dad was getting a legend check at the time. I think it was Wait, your dad worked with the, with the, with, with he, worked, he worked with Vince Sr. Okay. And then he worked with Vince uh, Jr. getting celebrities for uh, WrestleMania, like Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Getting My dad's a sports artist. Like anybody who's a sports athlete, like Lawrence Taylor when he was there, yeah. my dad would bring the press there. My dad would get them PR. My dad would write stuff about that. So they gave him a $3,000 a month Legends contract. And then sure enough, like three weeks later, I'm at my dad's house. Oh, and no. he gets a phone call from Kevin Dunn saying, Lou, I hate to give bad news to good people and you're a good guy, but we're trying to cut back around here so yeah the legend right. check is gonna stop and that hurt me and angered me so much harry and dante that mm. i'm like fuck that guess what i'm calling jeff jarrett tomorrow and tell mm. him that i want to come back to impact you know because they, they didn't want me to leave after three months i just wanted a month to digest right 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 you know what would have just gone on and i really was thinking about going back anyway but that codified my desire to go back there it was first out of anger, then it was out of like helping this company, this like, you know, little engine that could just, you know, grow and become bigger. And we did for a while and it was fun to be part of that. Right. And that's sometime... I mean, don't fuck my dad, brother. That, that that's that's my sore point. You right. don't fuck yeah. now, did they you know, did they did he ever work back with them or no? No, nope, nothing no, since then. And no. that three thousand a month at his age, you know, he's getting social security only, that three thousand a month, you know, would would, would set difference. him off pretty good, but now he struggles and has to do some little things, and I try to help out as well. But yeah. you know, they're the reason why I went to TNA full time and then Impact wow. Wrestling, you know, and wow. help make wow. a difference. Yeah. And that's where the politics of it all, uh, just following your heart, can sometimes be difficult because you're stepping on toes inadvertently. 
because your yeah, whole that thing was, was inverted, yeah. your intention was never yeah uh, let me jump ship your intention was uh, these this other group of people want to start a company i know some of my friends are over there let me help them get set up so that there's another place for people to work right that's the whole agenda and then yeah. they view that they turn around and and uh unleash all hell turn the entire armada on you yeah a, yep. as vengeance yeah, yeah. well how they were they were already a company they were doing those wednesday night uh two hour pay-per-views that you yeah no i remember Monday that night. yeah yeah so this but, was the launch to they were already on fox sports with impact wrestling they had a deal right. that summer so i joined later that summer just to help them the weekly shows on wednesday were going away they're going to monthly pay-per-views yeah. While they waited for a deal from a TV company. Um, and we finally got one with Spike uh, with with my help, tremendous help on my part because I knew people there. But, um, yeah, it was just like to get them to the monthly pay-per-views. Mm -hmm. And that was all. You know, I was joining yeah. for three months part time, mm -hmm. getting paid a lot of money, but part time. You know, right, just, right. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's great. What, um, you know, it's it's something that I'm, I'm thinking about is. Um, I, so it's it's weird because I've known Harry for twenty twenty two now twenty two 20, years 20, now probably something yeah. like that and so I always knew years. Harry as a stand up comic and I have watched his work enjoyed his work and uh, so when when Harry was was working with Capital right and he yeah. was, you know he would be talking about his you know his, wrestling his, stuff his, yeah his, his announcement stuff and I was I was like you know I knew him as a comic right. So he, they did this show, and then I, I, I actually, you know, I showed up at the show, and I, you know, I mean, I've known Harry to be good at what he does, but, like, and, and I grew up watching wrestling. And then I remember watching him on, you know, he was doing this heel thing as, a, as, a, as an announcer, right? And I remember thinking how I, I, got, I got so lost in it like I was, I was back at wrestling with Coco Beware, and you know what I'm saying. Like I remember at, Coco Beware, yeah. yeah. And I remember thinking of Bobby Heenan and how I, like yeah. I, I was hating Harry because he was, he was being a dude. And and then I caught myself and I go, yo, this is my dude. I mean, we've been, and I literally I forgot it was me. I forgot it was well, him, and I was like, wow, he's fucking really good at this. Like, oh jeez. Dante, yeah. that shows you his talent, that here's somebody you knew so well, yeah. and you're like, I don't like this guy. That's not the Harry that, that I, yeah, I yeah. know. You know, because he's yeah. playing this, you know, heel character, and that's great. Um, that's a sign of somebody who's good at what they do. And I'll give you an example. Yeah. In Hollywood, I think Denzel Washington is my favorite actor. Uh -huh. But when I watched Training Day for the first time, I loved his character at yeah. first. And halfway through, I wanted him to die. I could not stand yeah. him. I'm like, wow, what a great <laughs> actor. He can play a yeah. role. That gets me to hate him and want to yeah. see him killed in the end. Yeah, that's just yeah. a, a sign of somebody who's really this good. This piece at what of shit do. needs to get his comeuppance. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I, idea. I, I almost spit in Harry's face a couple of times. I was like, <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker, and he and he was just snide and fucking just oh, a thanks, dick yeah. and, and, and I and I and I I, I kept going. Man, like this is, you know, I mean, I hate to put it like that because it feels like I'm being a dick. No, but that's but, the job. But I that's was my like, whole job I was like, to make no, I don't mean that. But I mean, I was well. like, this is really good. Yeah, like man. this is like I've watched wrestling my whole life, and I was like, wow, this is really I, fucking yeah. good. And I, I sometimes like I would have comic people, friends of mine who didn't know I was a comic, and they would come and see me, and then afterwards they would go, "Man, you were really good," which means, in a sense, they didn't expect me to they be didn't that expect good. It to be, yeah, to be that good. <laughs> but I mean, in my defense, I had seen him do comedy, and and he's such a good dude. I was like, "Wow, this is good." Well, it's you know, different like than playing a bad guy. Yeah, comedy. I'm you're supposed to be likeful, uh, likable. Yeah. You know, and the the uh, as a manager and as as the owner, I, yeah, I'm not supposed to be likable at all. Which yeah. which is some of the most fun I've ever had is just getting people to boo me. It's a lot of fun. It's yeah. weird how much the adulation that if you're purposely getting people to boo you, yeah, 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 yeah. how much yeah. that is almost. I mean, it's equally as good as as getting laughs and cheers. I mean, it's the same yeah. level. And Harry, mo most wrestlers like playing the role of heel. Yeah, they yeah. like yeah, being the bad I get guy. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's more fun. I think it's more yeah, fun. That's what I've yeah. heard. Yeah, it's more fun and it's a little bit easier to I think it's to, to a degree it's easier to do, but it's just I miss doing it. I got I'm trying to get back. Uh, I mean, you know, David, I'm trying to 
get back into doing more of it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I miss doing it and uh, I miss doing the broadcasting, but I'm going to find a new place to do it. It's, it's fun. I have shit. no doubt you will. That's it's, it's your passion. I have no yeah, doubt man. that you will. David, have you ever, you ever seen him do it or no? Have you ever watched him do it or? No, I've watched him work and I've been impressed with him at work. Yeah. Uh, when he did, we did stuff at the Capitol. Uh-huh. And yeah. you're right. I would see that character change. So, you know, yeah. Harry, the person that I know in real life, yeah, yeah. And then Harry T, this character oh, on television, I'm like, wow, he's fucking pretty good. This guy. Yeah, 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 he's a fucking douchebag. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, I try. <laughs> I try, man. You know, it's it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun getting yelled at, getting yeah, things yeah. thrown at you, oh, screaming yeah. at children. <laughs> Anything you got to do. <laughs> think that somebody would love getting booed in oh, life, yeah, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. not life. It, it's yeah, fantasy. Yeah. It's wrestling. No, but it's it's about getting a reaction out of people. It's, it's about, yeah, I mean, just screaming at people, getting... I don't know. I loved the wrestling so much. Just getting knocked off the top rope and landing when uh, you're so hated that somebody accidentally kicks you in the face in the ring and you oh, fall down wow. and it hurts your back. And then the people start cheering like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, all right. I'm doing my job. Yeah. And I, I just watched there's a there's a you know, everybody's talking about the people, you know, losing their fucking minds and stuff. I just watched this clip of this dude. Uh, I think it was inside the ropes, some a small company out of Alabama, and the dude headbutts sure. one of the, one of the, the 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 heels, and he and they're like like this like this motherfucker is like this is a this is real like now you made this real and this dude's gonna beat the shit out of you now because you couldn't tell the difference because like you're well I shouldn't say that I said it, it was so real to him that that was his reaction so I guess in a sense you know. Well, it's theater. It's any sort of yeah, theatric. It's it's all about getting a reaction out of people. Yeah. And you can't have people who are good without people who are bad. Yeah. There is no yeah. Batman if there's nobody yeah. for him to fight. That's Absolutely, Harry. That's a great analogy. It really is. And mm. as you said, you want to get a reaction. You want to be booed loudly or or cheered. If you go out there and get no reaction, you're found. You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.